The tool is virtual reality and it's been used for years to help people with things like fear of flying and post-traumatic stress disorder. Well now Emory's using virtual reality to help veterans who've survived sexual traumas, helping them take back control of memories that can haunt them. In a small room at the Emory Brain Health Center, I put on a headset that takes me into what looks like a computer game with no real action. And it's nothing scary. So you, you would look at it and not be scared. It's not Hitchcock, it's not Freddy Krueger. In fact, the lonely looking scenes mean little to most of us. A forward operating base, a shower trailer, a tent barracks, an observation tower. There's even a bland motel room. But these scenes can trigger painful memories for military sexual trauma survivors, says psychologist is Dr. Barbara Rothbaum, director of Emory's Veterans Program. In general, people with PTSD are very avoidant. That's been their way of coping. They don't want to go there. They don't want to think about it. They will avoid all reminders. But with this tool, survivors can go back and confront their memories in a safe place with a trained therapist like Liza Zwiebach. It's kind of like facing the schoolyard bully. Rather than running around and hiding at every recess, you go up to them and say, I'm not running from you anymore. Give me your best shot. This is exposure therapy, and every scene is designed to match the veteran's memory. I'm laying in my bunk. I'm sleeping. I feel the presence of someone over me. I open my eyes. As survivors tell their story, the therapist talks them through it. Tell me what's happening now. Describe what's happening now. Describe what you're thinking, what you're feeling. I've been doing this for a long time, and even people who are scared they can't handle it, they can handle it. And Dr. Rothbaum hopes this can help survivors take back control so that the past no longer haunts them. It will always be something that should never have happened to them, but it doesn't have to be so intensely painful today. It doesn't have to interfere with their lives today. And this program is part of the Warrior Care Network. It's designed to offer mental health care at no cost to post 9-11 veterans who qualify. Dr. Rothbaum says she's worked with assault survivors who have gone years without getting help, and she says she wants all veterans to know there's hope. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.